Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with a second update from my A to Z project pan. And if you've been following along this project you know that I'm doing it only with eyeshadows this year. So I'm working on one eyeshadow with a name starting from A all the way down to Z. So that is this project but before I jump into any of the eyeshadows I've been working on, if you're new here please consider subscribing. I would love to have you in the family. But let's just jump into the eyeshadows. So I'm just going to go through every single eyeshadow in uh, the order and the eyeshadows that I had panel in my last update I am going to skip over those, I don't have them here with me because I feel like it's just going to be redundant uh, including all of the ones that I've hit my goal on already in each update so if I'm skipping any letters you know why. But we're going to start with A and A comes from my Amrezy palette by Anastasia and the shade that I am working on in here is actually called Anastasia as well. So it is this one right down here and I have used this shade four times. I didn't use it at all in the first update but now I have used it those four times which is really exciting um, and I have a little bit of a dip in it but um, yeah it's it's nothing really that deep yet. So I feel like this will be in for at least another month or so. Um, I'm not really focusing on this shade and um, I've been using this because I was panning a lot of kind of mauve toned eyeshadows recently and like cool tone eyeshadows and this one went really nice with those so um, we'll see if I'm focusing on this next month but at least now I have four uses on it. B comes from my Modern Renaissance palette again from Anastasia. You're gonna see a lot of Anastasia palettes in here but I've focused on a lot of those eyeshadows because some of the palettes are getting a bit older. Not all of them, some of them are relatively new but um, they're also very easy to kind of hit pan on. The pants aren't very deep so that's why I want to focus in on those. So yeah B comes from Modern Renaissance and it is the shade Bon Fresco and I have used this an additional five times over the last month and there it is so I have a pan on this now. It took me 14 uses in this project to hit that goal uh, and this was one of the ones that I focused in on a lot over the last month um, and yeah it just re worked really well and um, I'm happy to now have a pan on this and hopefully you can see with that I actually have pan on seven of the shades in this palette which means that I now have pan on half of this palette. For C we're gonna just breeze over it. The shade is Cyborg which is this one down here. I haven't used this at all. I did have two uses on this from January but um, I haven't used it in the last uh, month. D comes from my Novena palette again from Anastasia and that is the shade Dreamer which is the first shade in the palette and I have used this once um, once over the last month and once overall so you can't really tell to be honest and I wasn't really expecting to do so either of this one use but at least I have used this palette. E is for electric which is in my subculture palette and I absolutely love this shade. It is the one down here and I have used it two times in the last month for a total of two uses. You can see some wear in this shade now. This shade was completely brand new when I rolled it into the project um, but I definitely have quite a way to go before I pan on it but this is such a beautiful shade and I don't really want to rush through it. So I feel like this is going to be in here for a longer time and I'm completely fine with that because I know that I will be hit pan on this this year anyway but I just kind of want to reach for it more organically when I'm feeling that shade because it's just such a beautiful one. For F we have another very exciting one. This one comes from my Magic Mindy palette from Juvia's Place and I was working on the shade Faso which is this one right here and I was able to pan on this as you can see. Um, I used an additional three times over the last month for a total of nine uses. Uh, for me usually the Juvia's Place formula is also another one that's really easy for me to pan on especially with the shimmers. The pans aren't very deep and I feel like they're quite like soft eyeshadows so um, you go through them quite quickly as well. So yeah, I have a pan on this eyeshadow now which is very exciting which means that I'm rolling this one out of the project as well. For G we have the shade Ginger which comes from my Anastasia Jackie Aina palette. Um, I have used this shade once over the last month for a total of five uses and it is this one right here. So there is a little bit of a dip but not much at all. Um, I feel like this is one that I'm going to focus more on uh, when uh, we hit the summer. For H we have the shade HWY from the MAR palette and I'm just going to kind of breeze over again. The shade that I have isn't actually the original HWY. Um, I used to combine my Soul palette and my MAR palette and this is the shade that ended up in that spot and that's why I'm using it. So this is what the shade looks like. I actually have zero uses on this. I haven't used it this month nor in January but again I think this is one shade that I will focus more on when we get to summer. 
For J, we have a single shadow, which comes from Makeup Geek, and this is in the shade Jester. I did use this an additional one time over the last month for a total usage of two. So um, there's definitely a dip in this. This wasn't new by any means when I rolled it in. I had used this before, but um, yeah, definitely really happy with uh, some progress on this eyeshadow, although it is another one that I am nowhere close to doing pan on. But I think this might be one that I focus in on a bit more in the next month, because I do have a few kind of greenish eyeshadows that I'm panning right now uh, and I think this will be a really beautiful shade to pair with those so I am going to try to focus on this a bit more but I can't promise that we'll see pan on this uh, in the next update. Speaking of greens we have K which comes from my previous place uh, tri palette and I am working on the shade Coral which is this one right here. This is more of an iridescent shade and I actually only used it once over the last month for a total of three uses um, and you can see some disturbance in the pan but again I'm not close to hitting pan anytime soon so um, I think this will definitely probably require at least another 10 uses or so but I think similar to Jester I will probably reach for this a bit more in the next month due to me panning so many greens. For L we have come to the shade Love which comes from the Novena palette again and this one is one that I have focused quite a lot on over the last month and I have actually reached for this nine times um, and it is this shade here. With this shade I hadn't used it at all in January but I now have nine uses and you can definitely see some wear on this but I think it's probably going to be quite a way to go before I actually pan on it. Unfortunately I feel like this uh, eyeshadow will be put on hold for now though because I am panning a different mauve shade in a different project that I want to focus on instead of this one now. Um, so we'll see but um, I think this probably will take another one month of complete focus on it before I pan on it. Um, but I am happy with the progress so far. So the next three shades I have not used at all so I'm just going to breeze over them. The first one comes from my Soft Glam palette and it is the shade Mulberry which is this one right here. Like I said I haven't used it at all in this project so far. For N we have the shade New Wave. Again I, I haven't used this at all yet. Um, these are all kind of shades that I feel like I will use more in summer. I mean the shade Mulberry I could probably use a bit more right now but I've been panning quite a lot of uh, deep browns which is why I haven't got around to reaching for this one yet. Then the last in this kind of three I haven't used is Orange Soda, again from Soft Glam. This is very similar to the other one that is more of a summer shade and that is why I haven't used it yet but I am sure that I can fly through this shade when we get to the warmer months. For P we have the shade Pyramid which comes from my Prism palette. I have used this three times uh, now uh, for three uses in total and it is this shade here. You can definitely see some usage on it now um, but I think again I am quite far away from pan but although this is more of a warmer shade I have been liking incorporating this into more and more kind of neutral looks uh, used for pop of warmth because I've been rocking so many cool tone looks recently it's just nice to have something to switch it up with and that is kind of the lit shade that I've been going for if I want a slightly warmer look. Next up we have a few more shades that I haven't used this month yet. Uh, the first one is Queen B for Q. Um, I did use this three times in the first month but now in February I haven't used this at all so that is the first shade. For R we have another one I haven't used which is Raw Sienna from the Modern Renaissance palette. It is this shade here. Again it's more of an orangey brown which is why I haven't reached for it with all of my cool toned looks. For S we have sponsored from my Jackie Aina palette. Uh, again a shade that I used a little bit in the first month uh, but I haven't used it all now. So two uses in January but zero in February. Then another one that I haven't used over the last month is from a subculture palette. This is the shade Untamed and I did use this a little bit again in January for um, two uses but again I haven't used it in February. Next up though we have a shade that I have actually used. This one comes from the uh, Beauty Bay Nikki Tutorials palette and we have the shade Vla which is for V. Um, I have used this shade two times over the last month for a total of five uses and I'm hoping you can see the dip in there. Um, I can definitely tell and I feel like maybe in another like five to ten uses I can actually pan on this. Um, I know these pans look massive but I actually had pan on another shade in here and it didn't take too long. For the shade W we have a shade from my Novena palette again and uh, this is the shade Wild Child which is the shimmery pink right there. Uh, I have used this once now so one use in total from this past month. Um, and yeah, you can't really tell much difference. You can maybe tell that I put my brush in it now, but um, I'm definitely still a long way away from pan. So we'll see how long this takes, but um, it is a beautiful shade. I just haven't really been feeding that pink um, shimmer shade recently. 
Then the last two shades are very boring because I haven't reached for them at all. They both come from the Magic Mini palette and it's the shade Jamoya and uh, Suba. So it is the silver shade right here for Y and then this pink shade right here for Z. Um, and yeah, those are the last two shades. I haven't gotten around to using those two yet. And like I said, I was focusing in on Faso to pan on this month and Faso didn't take me too long to pan on and like I said before, the shimmers in here aren't too hard for me to pan on. So I feel like once I do focus in on these two shades, I can probably hit pan on them relatively quickly. But I just, like I said, haven't gotten around to using these two yet. But those were all of the eyeshadows that I've been working on from the last month. Um, and as you can see, I hit pan on two of them now, which means that I now hit pan on five eyeshadows from this project in total. And I have 21 to go. Uh, I think that's pretty good, honestly. Um, there's still a lot of them that I haven't touched yet, but it's more kind of seasonal things. I did want to put in a big range of colors in here that would kind of last me throughout the year. And like I mentioned before, I have been rocking quite a lot of cool tone lash looks recently, like all of the crease today. Um, it's a bit warmer than I've been reaching for. Um, but yeah, you can see that even then, the look is still pretty cool toned. But that is basically where I am right now. I do think that I'm on track to hitting my goal, which is hitting pan on all of these eyeshadows. Um, we'll see towards the end of the year, but with the ones that I haven't reached for yet, I know that I will focus in on those a lot in summertime. I used to have been trying to reach for the ones that go kind of more within the season as well as with other cool tone eyeshadows that I've been panning recently. So I have seen some other people join in on this project, which is very, very exciting. And I've been loving seeing other people do this, both on Instagram and on YouTube. And if you are someone who has been taking on this project and also doing an A to C uh, all eyeshadow edition, um, just please let me know down below because I would love to go and check out your videos or your posts on Instagram. So yeah, let me know how you're doing and if you are doing it, where are you currently with all of your eyeshadows? Have you patterned anything yet? If you just feel like you're on track to hit your goal before the end of the year. But that is it. I hope you're having a lovely day and I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye bye.